Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play the How I Met Your Mother theme song. It's really catchy, pretty short, goes something like this. Give you a preview, go like this, check it out. Yeah, that's it, you just repeat it if you want. You can add more stuff to it later on when you learn the melody and chords, you can do something like... Okay, so let's get right into it. So melody and chords for this. Uh, we're going to break it up into, let me see, about two parts so it's easier to learn. Alright, so the first part goes like this for the right hand. Starts on the C sharp here, middle C is here for reference. We go up an octave to this C, is the C sharp right next to that. So it goes C sharp up to E, up to the B, A, down to E, F sharp, E, like that. And that's the first part for the right hand, okay? So one more time for this first part. So it goes like this. So it goes C sharp, E, up to B, A, down to E, F sharp, E. And that's the right hand for the first part, okay? So once you get that right hand there, left hand we have four chords here. The four chords are, okay? It's um, A major is the first chord, which is A, C sharp, E. The second chord is first inversion of E major, which is G sharp B E. Third chord is F sharp minor, which is F sharp A C sharp. And then the fourth chord is E major, which is E G sharp B. All right, so with these four chords in mind, so A major, first inversion, E major, F sharp minor, and E major, the two hands together goes like this. So it goes A major by itself, right comes in, E and the first inversion together. After A, first, I mean the F sharp minor by itself comes in, F sharp and E major get off, like that, and that is the first part, okay, let's do it again one more time, so it goes here, together, here, together, and that's it for the first part, okay, so once you get that for the first part, let's now move on to the second part, right hand goes down to the A, and then B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, A, B, C sharp, B, A, A, like that, okay, and that's the right hand for the second part, so one more time, so it goes, a, B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, A, B, C sharp, B, A, A. And that's the right hand for the second part. Once you get the right hand for the second part, left hand, we have five chords here for the second part finishing off here. The five chords are D major, which is D, F sharp, A. And then the second chord is first inversion of A major, which is C sharp, E, A. Third chord is B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. Fourth chord is G major, G, B, D, and then the fifth chord finishing off with A major again, A, C sharp, E. Okay, so with these five chords in mind, so it's D major, first inversion, A major, B minor, G major, and A major. The two hands together goes like this, so A and D major together. C sharp and the first inversion together. C sharp and B minor together. C sharp and G major together. After A, A major by itself. One more time, so it goes like this, it goes together, 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 here. And that's it. Alright, so back to back, the two parts we've learned in this lesson will just be played like this. Check it out, so it goes. Yeah, and that's it. Pretty awesome stuff, okay? Yeah. After you get the melody and chords of this correct in terms of all the uh, melody notes and also the rhythmic notes, uh, uh, what correct? You can add all these other left-hand accompaniment patterns. So what you can do is like do these octaves and arpeggios to make it more interesting. For example, something like. Add a more simple pattern, you could just be like, like that. Okay, so it's all 
always about learning the chords and after you learn the chords, you can just do whatever you want with the chords, uh, like all these different patterns to make it sound more interesting. That requires a little bit of hand independence, but yeah, if you're a beginner, just stay with the melody and chords first, get used to that. And once you get used to all the chords, then you can start like uh, just having your own style and arrangement of it just by adding all these patterns to it, okay? But anyway, you can actually learn all my patterns from my website, bestpianomethod.com, okay? Linked in the description below. You can try it out for yourself. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff to learn there, how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff. So check it out if you wanna learn. Okay, but anyway, also check out the rest of my channel if you like this type of tutorials, because I have literally multiple thousands and thousands of other piano videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from. It's a lot of stuff, okay? But anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Enjoy your time around my channel. And as for now, see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel. Subscribe and see you next time.